right, so this one says we should evaluate this logarithmic functions um, equation, sorry. Uh, so to get the value of x, what do you do? So we can try to first of all see if we can get the right hand side to be in a single uh, logarithm. And if we do that, this is going to give us log um, x minus 1 base 2. Of course, you know that 1 is the same as log 2 base 2 because logarithm of any number to the same base is uh, 1. Okay, so that means the left right hand side will now be by addition of logarithm. So this is going to give me multiplication, which is 2 times x minus 1 in base 2. Of course, in this side, you will have the same thing, uh, this base 2. So of course, the logarithm of the same base will cancel out. And so I just have x squared minus 1 is equal to 2 into x minus 1. Okay, but you can see that the left-hand side is simply a difference of two squares. So here you have x plus 1 into 2 into x minus 1. Okay, so what can you do here? Now, um, if I move this to the other side, I'm going to get x plus 1. You know, if you are not careful, you'll be tempted to divide both sides by x minus 1. If you do that, the answer you will get will just be one value for x. However, you can see that the equation that we formed here is a quadratic equation. And every quadratic equation is supposed to have two values. Okay, so and that's why I had to do this. So in, at this point now, there is x minus 1 here and x minus 1, I can quickly bring out the 2, uh, sorry, one of it. So if I factorize x minus 1, so I'm now going to have in the bracket, this guy will be left, which is x plus 1, and then minus this 2. Okay, 2 will be left on this side. So everything is equal to 0. So if I gather what I have in this other bracket, that will give me x minus 1 into here will now be also x minus 1 as well, and that is equal to 0. All right, so at this point now, you can see that you are simply going to get uh, a solution where your x will be the same because you have repeated linear roots, uh, linear factors. So this is x minus 1 is equal to 0 twice. Okay, so therefore our x is equal to 1, okay? And that is the solution to this problem. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do give it a thumbs up to this video. We will see you in our next video. Bye.